Right then, folks, I've walked on a bit. I met a woman I met earlier up near the battlefield who I was talking to them about a walk, and then she must have bombed here because she's just... I just met her again, so she knows this area very well. Now, I'm exploring a bit because she gave me lots of instructions, but well, I'm following the yellow markers, actually. I'm following the yellow markers. And I've got a feeling it's not far, it's just over there is um, the campsite, but I can't be sure of that. I can't be sure of that. I thought that might be the rugby field then, but I think that is actually a radio signal. I'll just zoom in and tell you what I mean. First of all, I thought that was lights, rugby lights. So there's a rugby club near where I camped, but that is more like an aerial. That's a farm, I think. I don't know if that's... One way or another, it doesn't really matter because it doesn't really matter where I walk. <sighs> Obviously, the idea of going to Sutton Cheney or Cheney Sutton Church was because it was the battlefield church, apparently. This is where you need a week up here. You can come out. I mean, I've got to drive home yet, but that's why I can't go do too much. But of course, when you don't know an area, you know, imagine someone says, oh, you can walk from Wells to Cheddar. That's a hell of a hike. So at one point, at some point, after I've done two and a half hours walking, I'm going to turn back anyway. Right, now she said to me, if you go across the bridge, you'll come to the track. Oh, yeah. Right, let's get over here for a minute then. Obviously they don't really want people using this. I will, for now. Right, wait a minute. So I'm climbing over a tree. Because this is what she said was the gated track, I reckon. Unless this is some farmer's private drive. No, look, there's a sign there. Eh? This is still going to take me the same way. If I want to, I could go back that and hook back. But what I'm doing, I want to go a bit further. So I just came in through where that tree's down. And there's a sign. I've got these hot, sweaty leggings on now because I've been walking through tall grass. Of course, she did say I could have avoided all this getting wet. But I actually like being in the fields. But this is part of it as well. This here is part of... Um, getting to know an area because usually what I do I did a lot of walking in Stratford-upon-Avon um, but I was able to go and walk in the evenings as well I mean I've had both my evenings here have been absolutely horrendous and I've got wet clothes still back at the van from that first night I was here But I've got to go home tonight. I'll be alright. I'll stop at the motorway service station. I'll be sensible. You get two. You get free to it. Don't matter if I get back at midnight. So anyway, this might be the third video on the 18th of May 2017. And Sheila's up in Leicestershire. And through the gap over there. Oh yeah, they're already looking quite a way off. There's King Richard III's standards, his flags, look. See? And I have just walked from, from there. And they do, they're starting to look tiny. It's 
So, I'm going to keep these trousers on for a minute, so I'll tell you why, because I might have to put them on. I don't want to keep putting them on and taking them off. Lots of oak trees around here, but of course they used oak, didn't they, to build in um, probably weapons with. Solid oak. They use it to build um, ships. But of course these could all be from Henry VIII's time, not Richard III. Yeah, because she said to me, if I wanted to go in the park, not to go across that bridge there, but to carry on that way. But I, I'm doing a roundabout. She said I'll come out by um, a road. But I'm wondering if this actually goes past my campsite. In which case I'll know where I am. I'm looking, I'm looking out for features. Right, over and out for a minute, everyone. Over and out.